Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Zoo. Now, I've been staring at this spot for about 10 minutes. This is where I want the gift shop to be that I said that we were going to be building this episode. And I've been thinking, what sort of design for this building do we want? So I've done a couple of sketches. I'm not going to show you because they're really bad. And I thought, what colours do I want it? old style looking building do i want it modern looking building i've decided to go for a modern ish looking building this is a modern zoo this isn't going to be an old zoo it's meant to be a new zoo that's being built and constructed you know right now so i think a modern ish design would be nice with some nice modern bright colors you know we we've got the sort of dark colors of the path so the enclosures and the buildings we want to be bright hence you know the sandstone and stuff so they stand out a little bit more we also want the gift shop obviously near the entrance to the park because that's obviously where a lot of the people are going to be going past in fact they have to go past it twice they have to go past it to come in and they have to go past it to go out which is why the gift shop is always at the start of a uh, an amusement park or a zoo or something like that i was thinking do i want to incorporate a little bit of this curve curves are hard to work with in minecraft but i think it'd be really cool if we had a little bit of a curve in how big do we want it to be well i want it to be quite big i want to have a load of shelves in there. i don't know what we're going to fill it with because minecraft is very hard to do um filling with interiors as far as like stuff on shelves go but i do think a nice size decent sized interior would be nice and then i thought well what if we done a building over here and then we had like a banner that goes across the top and I thought, yes, that sounds awesome. That's as far as I got. So I done a couple of little sketches, but they're not really going to help me at all. So this is going to be pretty much uh, off the bat. I've got my little sketch. Well, not a sketch. It's like a computer sketch uh, on my other monitor. And I'm going to try my best to sort of follow that. So the colour designs that I went for, I think clay. Is clay good? No, I think wool might. What, what does wool look like? I'm thinking oranges and reds, which is quite unusual for me. Or maybe like orange and a different coloured orange. Yeah, I actually really like that. And then I think an orange clay, because it's like a perfect sort of darker clay, as an accent block. And then I want, obviously, glass for the windows. I want a little bit of black in my design as well. I think I'm going to go with stained clay over the black wool, because it's a little bit of a dark grey. It's not quite of, a, of an abruptive uh, black. And then I want some white as well. White, nope. Wool, nope. Clay. We'll go with the clay. So they're the sort of four colours, very modern looking colours. Uh, we're going to probably want some cobblestone walls in to make it sort of look a little bit more modern. But I might change that out to carpets. I don't know yet. And I think for the start, we're going to go with the easiest part. Uh, I'm going to want to make that path a little bit wider there. So I'm going to say the corner, the very corner of the building, I'm going to say is there. That gives us a nice amount of space to be able to walk through. I want it with this orange. And then how big do we want the windows to be? Well, I think three blocks high is a really nice height for a window. And let's say five blocks wide. Mm, five blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Well, that works out really nicely, doesn't it? Hey, that works out really nicely. And then we go down the diagonal. I think I do want to go down the diagonal. And I just need to remember that the uh, brick is actually on the corner. I'll just have to remember that. Uh, so this, we can't really count out five. If I went one, two, three, four, five. Well, I suppose that does sort of work out. One, two, three, four, five. You yeah, know, that does sort of work out. I thought on a diagonal, sometimes the windows look too big, but this could work. One, two, three, four, five, right there. And that's the corner. I think that'll be a nice sort of uh, size for the sort of uh, length in this diagonal part. And then I wanted to come out. This side, we don't need any windows. So we can sort of just put down a block anywhere that we want. We don't need to count out uh, a distance. And then I don't want to just be square or, or to square it off like that. I think what I want to do is I want to make a little bit more of an unusual shape. Because unusual shapes uh, are usually better in Minecraft. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come in here. And then I'm going to come out to the corner and square it off. So we get this sort of, uh, almost like an L shape, but I think there's enough sort of flat spots that the roof is going to look really, really nice. Then we have the glass. Do I want full glass or do I want glass panes? I think I probably want glass panes. And then I want a block to go underneath it. For the block to go underneath it, I think probably black would be the nicest. 
Yeah, it's a really nice black. That's a really, it's like a, a, a charcoal more than a black. Um, what is that? 159.15. So we'll go set to 159.15. And then I'm going to replace these by hand so I don't get this wrong. And then I know exactly where the glass needs to go then. Like that. I don't need to do it down there. Uh, in fact, that's probably all going to be entirely orange. Uh, 35 1 set to 35 1 over here set to 35 1. we might put a, a line of color in it a line of different color in it so it's not completely orange but for the moment I think we're just going to go with this we've always got the opportunity to change it up a little bit the windows go in there and then we have this darker orange that goes along the top now I think I want three layers of this darker orange you'll see why so we'd have one two three and then i'm going to use the white as like an accent block i want the white to come down here and then i want it to go across the top see how already how modern this is looking you see like that and that'll go then also down the curve it's not even a diagonal it's like a curved diagonal it's so unusual i've never never done a building like that before um i suppose i should probably continue on on now that one that one and then that diagonal one and then that one it's actually really difficult i've never built i've never built or i don't build diagonally usually anyway but something i've never done is build diagonally on a curve that is very very unusual for me and then this wraps all the way around like this and we'll go down that and we'll wrap around the entire building but it drops down here so i think on this side what i'm going to do is if i just add a little bit it'll wrap all the way around but then it'll finish oops like that so then we end up with that sort of one block so it's like a, a giant snake almost wrapped around the building above this i want to have a black section but i'm going to set this one block uh slightly back like this and i'd really like to write gift along that uh, maybe in a different color what color would go well with all of this maybe we do it in the orange uh, G G is a different uh, a difficult one to spell if I can go three by fives I'd be very very happy G I oops G I F uh, what one two three four oh this is four four by three okay that works out well uh, a little bit smaller than what i usually do uh, and then the black goes behind it so we're going to have the t on the diagonal it should still work out quite nicely i don't think i can do the letters any smaller if i do the letters any smaller uh, i don't think we're going to be able to tell what the letters actually say so i have that one that one that one that should be enough for the T, right? Like if I started the T on this one, there, oh no, this one, and that one. I think that'll wrap around the building really, really nicely. And we want to go above it as well. And then maybe a white top, or maybe we go with the dark orange top. Again, dark orange would probably be the, the best option for us very unusual man these these colors are so unusual for me to use oh and uh we want to get rid of that you know what i don't like it looks like it's too far away i think maybe that is better gift i might even be able to write shop down there or an s get i don't know if the hmm i don't like it for one, I don't like that the letter goes around on the diagonal. I don't like the look of that. And I also think it's a little bit too tall. It's a little bit too big. So we're going to ignore that. We're going to just assume that it said gift shop. I'll tell you what we can do. We can make a painting. We can make a painting that says gift shop. And then we can place it uh, on here. So I'm going to drop this down. I think I want this down to maybe 
uh, two or three blocks. I'm going to say two to begin with. I can always place another one back. Yeah, this is way too hard. What was this? Six blocks in total? Yeah, six blocks. If the letters were four and there was a black above it and below it. Six is way, way too tall. I think that already looks better. And then if we wrap this orange over the top, I think that'll cap it off really, really nicely. That one, that one, and that one. Etc, etc, etc. Okay. Let me put that all the way around, and I should be back for the next part, okay? Okay, I really like it. One thing I have forgotten about, the door. I did forget about the door, uh, but what I can do is I'll probably just leave one of these uh, windows open. Either the, the one on the, I think the one on the diagonal would be really nice to keep open. Uh, really cool. I like how we have kept that curve. So unusual. Uh, I think it's really nice to sort of try different things uh, sometimes. And uh, I think you'll surprise yourself of what you can sort of come up with. However, I have thought of another idea. I've thought of, instead of this line going straight along and then down, I thought of maybe it's it comes up like this. Oops. Like that. How did I want it? I I changed my that's something like that. And then it goes down. Okay. So like that, but wait. We then put this over the top. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Like that. And then change this out to the orange. Just as an idea. It's so I'm so I'm so close to really liking it. No, I think that should that should stay black. I can hear some noises. And then this one. Oh no, that should be orange. Orange. Maybe I leave the white line going along there as well or something. This black. These ones black. And these ones black. I just wanted something different there. Do you know what I mean? Just something, something a little bit different than the straight line going around it. But maybe the straight line was just better. Okay, we'll go back to the straight line then. Take that away. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so once we've got that, uh, we want to do the ceiling. Now the ceiling is pretty simple. We're just going to do a nice flat uh, roof on it. But then I want some details that go around the edge of the ceiling here. So first off, first things first, if we go there to there, slab. What one do we want? Capital letters. Uh, that one or quartz? Quartz sounds good. 44.7. Replace air with 44.7. I don't know why my mouse keeps going up in the air. <laughs> That's <laughs> something that uh, I haven't quite worked out yet. To there. Look at that. Like, whenever I let go of it, it just goes, huh. <laughs> I, I want to look up there. What's up there? <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't look up enough and the, and the mouse just wants to see if there's anything of uh, worth looking at. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. Uh, we'll have these in here. Now... Gift shops at zoos very rarely have animals for sale. In fact, I don't think I've ever been to. I don't think a zoo really... Have you ever been to a zoo that has a pet shop? I don't think I have. Um, but I thought it would be really cool if... Because um, we all know that how hard it is to do interiors to shops in Minecraft. Because we just don't have many things that can be either placed down all that many things that can be put into item frames that look like they're for sale without retexturing a bunch of things and using up that item that it originally was. So what if we have some glass cases in there with some lizards, um, maybe some fish, um, some parrots or, you know, some birds. I thought that would be really cool as an interior. Um, and we'll have, obviously, we'll, we'll see if we can get some plants and some stuff like that in there as well. Uh, but I thought just maybe some some animals would be a really nice touch. Now, another part of modern, or another piece of modern sort of part to it, is I think I want this here and here. And I want the same thing here and here. And I want this quartz going over the top and out this way and out the back. 
just different features. We're, it's a modern building, so we have to have these sort of uh, modern parts in uh, that you, you just don't see on like like normal houses or any, pretty much anything that we've done in the city so far on our city world. We don't really have that much modern buildings. We've sort of gone a little traditional, but with some you know modern skyscrapers and stuff in there. And then I think I want to remove that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Ooh, can I do that over here? Or was that just pure luck? Oh no, I can do that over here as well. Just look at that. It just looks like a little bit more modern, a little bit cool up there. And then I want to get some string. And some carpet. Orange. Orange goes well with all the colours that we've got so far. And I want to put the string on this level right here. I did place one a little bit too high. Put the carpet on top. I don't know if I want this just on the straight pass or if I want it all the way around. Maybe all the way around would be nice. That one. That one. Oops. That one. We're good. That one. Really difficult because it, it's not a full block. It's really hard to tell if you've, you're over the right block or not. That one. And then around the corner here. Let's just do the front first. I won't worry about the sides or the back. I'll just sort of wrap it around a little bit so we get a really good idea. Oops. And then... Have this along the front. I don't know what floor interior. I haven't even really thought about, like, uh, the aesthetics of the interior yet. Colours and stuff like that. But I think that is really, really cool, right? I think that looks so cool. Looking cool on the map as well. That's an important thing that we want to do is make it look cool on the map. Everything, everywhere else is looking really cool. So I think that's a really nice touch. Really nice to have a, a little bit more of a modern feel as well. I want to put some aircon units on the top here. So we're going to grab some sort of stone block. Perfect one for it. Some rails. If I could spell. And some slab. Oh no, we don't need the slabs because we're already on a, on a half slab. So I can do... We've done these before. We uh, make these look like little aircon units and little sort of roof details. A couple of those. A couple of these. We can have some rails on top to look like a sort of spinning air thing on the top there. If you haven't seen this before, this is a really, really uh, important thing to do on, uh, on any flat roofed building. Very, very important. We'll have another tall one over here. Don't do too many of them. And sort of try and split them up, get things in different directions, uh, make some of these longer, some of these shorter. And voila, it just makes the roof look so much better. Look on the map, you see. And when you're looking at it, it looks it looks a little bit more uh, full. Looks like there's more stuff going on. So, let's put the glass in here. Replace air with pain. Not sure about you. I don't know. 102. I don't know about you, but that did not look like a pain. <laughs> there was just something, something about it that made it non-pain looking. Uh, let's grab it. Pain. Those elephants only ever sit at the front here. I don't know why they don't really wander around anywhere else. Uh, they do move, the elephants do move, but they just don't seem to go anywhere apart from that spot. It's a little bit weird. That one, that one, that one. And then... This is why, this is why I don't do diagonal buildings, because the glass is such a pain. <laughs> And then that part we'll leave open for the entrance. Uh, I think it'll probably be best for the moment to replace these back with the grass. And then that can, f that can fade then nicely into our, our ground block. We'll probably go with some sort of light wood, I think. Something along those lines. Let's finish off the uh, string and carpet part that goes around the back here. Because I do like that. So much, uh, So many different levels of detail on this building. It's not some. It's not a style of building that I do that often. Um, I don't build uh, in in modern that much. So uh, every bit of every chance that I can, I do try to because it's all practice. Trying new things, going out of your comfort zone. Your Minecraft building skills don't improve, 
unless you try building things that you've never done before and especially things that you just find hard to build my interiors have gotten uh, a million times better i still don't think my interiors are great uh, but i think my interiors have become a million times better since i've done more and more interiors on season one of the city i hardly ever done any interiors on on that world at all because i just didn't like doing them i didn't think that i was good enough uh, to do them but after more and more practice i feel like i'm getting a little bit better at it now i think birch as a, oh no birch isn't what i thought what do we have as like a nice we could use the sandstone that work the top of the sandstone is actually not that bad like if i do set 24 that's actually really nice with this sort of um tiled mosaic sort of feel I think I actually really like that. Why did it get darker? <laughs> Is it... Yeah, it's updating the light, I think, as I'm swapping the blocks. And that one. Yeah, that's really nice. White ceiling on the interior. Uh, I think I probably want it on this level right here. If I went from there to there. Uh, set... Oh, no. Replace air with clay. Clay. Yeah, and then we keep that sort of one block of orange at the top. And I think that's really nice. We'll go with that one over to this one. There's an orange one missing here as well. Not that one. Uh, that one. There we go. And then I might as well fill in these last little ones by hand. wonderful very nice looking here need some lighting in here might use fluorescent lights uh, around the walls or on the ceiling to get to, to do that you know a, a nice oh no i don't have the fluorescent one i don't have that what was that mod that was the train mod okay i'm not installing the train mod okay we'll have to go with like um lamps and glowstone and redstone lamps and stuff like that uh to to do that I think that's good. I think I really, really like this as as the uh, gift shop. Let's go down as if we were in the entrance. We go down by the mascots. Let's turn this off. Let's turn the shaders on. Wow, at all the mobs. Did you see that? Holy moly. Oh, man, it's like freezing up. There was so many. It's the only space on the map that they can spawn. That's hilarious. The only place on the entire map that they can spawn. Look at them all. So as soon as I went out uh, far enough away, they were like, okay, it's party time, guys. Let's let's roll. What are these things? They've got like little mechs. <laughs> okay. I don't think I can ruin anything if I go away and then come back so they all despawn. I think I saw that skeleton disappear. I think. No, he's still there. Are they all still in there? Yeah, they're all still in there. <laughs> I can't. Um, I don't want to make it peaceful mode either because, uh, like I said a few episodes ago, if the lions and some of the other mobs, if they're classed as technically hostile mobs in the game, uh, by me putting it on peaceful mode, they might end up being removed. Similar to like how the... Um, mechs were inside that uh gift shop it shows that the modded animals can still naturally you know naturally spawn as hostile so if the lions could then we're gonna we're gonna have problems it looks beautiful i haven't really mentioned or talked about it but the building itself doesn't really know there we go the building itself does look really really nice uh with these texture pack on uh, or with this the shader pack on Look at that. And once the interior actually has proper lights and not torches, we'll be able to get a nice glow from the windows as well. I think that's really, really nice. Very, it feels so zoo-like, so friendly. Um, it, it feels like, you know, it's inviting you in, very inviting. You shake the elephant's noses while you're outside. I think that's really, really cool. I think it's really, really cool. There is one thing that I think might look good, though. One thing. If we get the string back again. And the carpet. 
if I put the string on the window level here, and then put the carpet on top. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, man, this is this is really annoying now actually, because I really like it so much, but uh, we'll have a couple more minutes on the episode then. We'll have that there. I don't mind when there's actually something to place it on. That makes it go a little bit quicker. We might as well continue all the way back around here. <laughs> Some of the zombies burned in the daylight by the looks. They don't drop their uh, drop their brains and stuff when they despawn and rotten flesh. So um, obviously they they made it into the sun. That one. Oops. All the way around. Oh, it's so difficult. It's so hard to see the uh, string exactly where you're placing it in the hitbox of it oh no oh no it's right i thought i'd i thought i'd done it one block too low or something silly like that so we'll have it all the way around here now the shader pack what i might do is i might change the texture of i don't want to because it's gonna make it really hard but i think if i made the texture of string completely invisible it won't show up when we turn the shaders on when the shaders are off it's like the normal string texture so it's very nearly invisible you can just barely see it, but it's nearly invisible. However, uh, oh, I should change the time of day as well to get the sun on the front of this. Um, however, when we uh, make it invisible, completely invisible, I'm not going to be able to see it at all to place it down with. Yeah, hold on. Time. I don't know what way this um, sun rises. Let's do just 2,000. Oops. That's a little better. There we go. Yeah, look at that. We've got the light on the front here now. Wonderful. I really like the carpet on that level as well. Just on top of the door. Makes a little bit of a lip. Yeah. That looks so cool. If you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.